Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to all my cloud scholars out there. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Terraform on Windows. So on my VM, I'm going to pull it up, Windows Terraform install. It's going to go down to HashiCorp site. And when you get to HashiCorp site, you'll see Terraform, you have install, um, you have the AMD 64 binary download, you have the Windows, and you'll see the Mac installation as well. Um, I already have it installed on my Mac, so I'm not going to go through that whole installation, but on the Windows machine, this is a brand new VM that I just created, so I can show you and walk you through how to do that. So on the Mac, I'm pretty sure you can just follow through with this Mac OS where it says brew tap HashiCorp tap, and then brew install HashiCorp Terraform. Now you will have to install brew as well if you do not have brew, so that's just an FYI. But I'm pretty sure this video is out there to show you how to go about doing that. So once you go ahead and you have your Terraform downloaded, right here you'll just get this, this file right here. Um, I didn't really mean to click on it, but that's fine. And this is the application file. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go over to my PC, I wanna to go to my C drive, just make things a little bit easier and I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it Terraform. And I'm gonna paste that there. All right, good. So we have our Terraform pasted in our uh, local C drive. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over to control panel large icons. I'm going to go over here to system. And then once I'm in system, I'm going to go to advanced system settings. And then over here, I need to go to my environmental variables down here. Make sure you come down to where it says path, double click that. And then what we're going to do is click new and a new path variable is going to be, let me make sure I get it done right. And then we're gonna click okay, we're gonna click okay. We could close out this screen and we could close out this screen. So, all right, now that we did that, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna do Visual Studio. So we need to go to Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna download Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna go Windows, and they have the option for Mac as well. I just set the, the setup is pretty much the same. Um, once we're done with installing Visual Studio Code, what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, a couple of extensions. It's giving me a message about rights, which I'm trying to figure out why that is, but um, you don't have, you could create a desktop icon up to you. Um, I'll create a desktop icon of mine. We'll see if it still runs because this is a brand new VM I created. Uh, it's only one local account, so it should have access to that. So I'm not really sure why they gave me that message, but we could continue through it. Um, it's perfectly fine. I like to have errors sometimes in the videos because uh, nothing really works right all the time right so um that's one of the reasons why I, with some of my videos what i will do is i don't try to edit out the errors i just say okay let's go through it so we can learn together but this is more seems like an access right error which okay so it installed so next thing we need to do is we need to come over here to this left hand side and what i want to do is i want to start go ahead and uh installing these extensions the first one we're going to install we're going to type in here hashicorp HashiCorp Terraform, and we're going to click install for that one. And then there's another one, which you can install as well, which is an Azure 
Terraform. We're going to install that one. I wonder if they have an AWS Terraform as well. I'm pretty sure they do. Just out of curiosity. Okay, so now that that's done, the next thing I want to do is I want to come over here and let me go to CMD. And this is something we probably should have done before uh, once we installed Terraform. But what we're going to do is just make sure that Terraform is installed correctly. So I'm going to go and go back and I'm going to go C, C, D, Terra. All right, we're in Terraform. So now I'm going to do Terraform. Um, I could do that, but I was just type version. And then, all right, good. So we know we are good with Terraform. Our version is coming up there. And then um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to come here and we're going to say open folder. And we're going to go to documents. Actually, this PC, C drive, Terraform, select folder. And then that is pretty much it. So we have our Terraform here on our Visual Studio Code. So once you have this all set up, um, what we're gonna do is over here, what we're gonna do is uh, we can create uh, a new file. So right here, a new file, and we'll just call it main.tf. And I want you to notice something. Um, see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. One more time. Control plus. I went a little too much. Let me back out a little bit. All right. Let's see if we could do. Can we change this to like 120? It's going way too much. All right, that's fine. Um, that looks pretty good. So you, I want you to notice when I did that .tf, it already knew it gave it a Terraform symbol, right? So we have our main.tf file. We've installed Visual Studio Code. We've installed Terraform. So we are all set to go. So this is what you need in order to continue throughout uh, the rest of the videos that I'll be creating. Uh, so this is a really quick uh, recap. Um, it was a really quick video just to show you how to install your Visual Studio Code and then also install Terraform on your machine. So continue watching. Um, as always, I want to thank you all for taking time for watching uh, my video. I hope the information here was beneficial. Uh, once again, my name is Kieran Tross. Uh, my goal here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant and, of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.